So hello, we're live my beautiful friends and also already recording. Welcome back to Metaphor Refantasio. I've been craving this game since we ended it last time. Fantastic that we had almost exactly two hours game time into it. I really, really like that one. Um, yes, Lord, please. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much. Please remember to do all the platform specific things, all the things that make the dings. So thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do, and let's go. So many cables right now. Um, and also really fast loading time. Uh, oh. Stroll. Never in all my life have I witnessed anything like that power you used. Tell me, is it some sort of magic? No, I suppose it couldn't be. Not with the igniters we were supplied with at least. Yours was broken in the commotion besides, was it? Incredible. If only I had that kind of power back then. Apologies, I'm just thinking out loud. Today's been a trying day for us both, so let's get some rest. Uh, also, I pushed up the volume of the game a little bit, so it should be better than last time. But if not, please tell me and I will try to do more. Wrong button, I wanted to press this. What was that power in you, I wonder? Grace seemed to know something about it. Well... Well, hey, I say use it or lose it. That said, let's take the rest of the day off. Haha! <laughs> uh, I want to talk some more. Sure, if you want, but let's take a break eventually, okay? Yeah, but yeah, Grius. You've done a fine job delivering that message, lad. It's finally time for us to act for his highness. Ah, you want to ask about that power, don't you? Huh? I had questions of my own. You seem to know a great deal about the royal family. Before you infiltrated the army, who were you? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Nothing but a mercenary, and yet... His Majesty gave me the honor of being His Highness, the Prince's Tutor in Swordplay. The night of the attack, I was there. I see. I see. Truly, that's incredible. Okay. Uh, is there more? Got it. It's getting late. We'll talk details tomorrow. <sighs> oh, wait. Uh, we have more than a few stories to swap. I'd like to hear how the Sanctum is faring myself, but as it stands, I'm in need of some shut eye. Uh, okay, we can't talk to him. Okay, we have to. Hello. Do you want to take the rest of the day off? Wait. Uh, sure, if you want. Oh, yeah. Just want to know what's this? Hmm? Gold beetle. There is an insect emitting a strange light. Obtained a gold beetle. Thank you. Um, I think we can't dash. Oh, but we can do this. The ferry view. Because we're probably not going to come back here again. So, okay. Campfire. Also, never forget, hydrate. Good, I'm pooped. <laughs> uh, two mugs of coffee in cap. Hmm. Nice. Idle stay. Is that Sunday? Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. I love voice acting. Thank you. It makes my job so much easier. <laughs> Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. Mm, the ground makes a poor bed. Yeah, kinda. Um. The ground makes a poor bed. <laughs> His grumpy voice. Well, you're just gonna have to rough it until we're back to the capital. I wanted to tell you though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. Yeah, me too. It told me my duty would be to guide you. Oh, a different voice. What do you think it meant? Uh, that you're supposed I to mean, guide me. I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. Yeah, but that's not your fault, Gallica. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. It's not your fault. It is kind of your fault? Who would say that? It's not your fault. You say that, but... But it's the truth. Look, I can't fight with you, but... 
As long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. She says she can't fight with us. She attacked that human and got rid of all the apples in a heartbeat. Come on, Gallica. Special, you know. <laughs> I don't know what it is just yet. But I believe in you. Oh, thank you. And I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. Oh, she wants to read the book. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. It's just war after war here. With magla arts fueling the flames. But it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Good night. What is happening? Oh, is this the velvet room now? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take screenshots after screenshot. Hello, hello. Oh, Kitty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. Uh. Hi. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. Ah, there it is. You truly are an intriguing one. Am I? Thank you. But. Ah, oh, music. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. Oh, so this is the Velvet Room, basically. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. Oh. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? The cat! A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Yeah, it makes sense. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. Oh, damn. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, That's great. What would you say to an alliance? Oh... Uh... What kind of alliance? I love how the music just ramps up. This is your decision what now. Kind of there must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to read the true magic. You need no petty conduct of more to make. You can even change your appearance using the wrong magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Okay, Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near-mythic figures with forms Paladins? transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. Oh. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance <laughs> Take to my master hand. your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay, but how do I know that we can trust you? But I will trust you. Okay. Okay. The bargain is struck then. Ah, was that a little too late? Ah, damn. I hear a voice from somewhere. 
The scholar in search of Utopia. More. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Okay. Now let's see what manner of story you'll weave. Huh. The party can now study the seeker once unlocked in academia. Bright eyed student. Can we. Oh! Allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing more. Oh! We have a lot of arms and legs. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the Seeker from Moor. Moor is the first of your followers. People that support your quest as steadfast allies that you can grow closer. Strengthening your bond with your followers will lead to unlocking various abilities that can change the shape of your journey. Moor is just the first of many, so keep an eye out. Wait, who is that on the street? Oh, that's Stroll. Okay, okay. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path and the thrills that yet lie ahead. Nice, interesting. Love the room, by the way. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Hmm. Flame stay. Awesome name. Already then. Already. From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Okay. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Oh, we walk the righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. So you were not righteous, you heretic. <laughs> it really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? <laughs> trust me, bro. <laughs> Let's check them out. This will all be for nothing. Oh, sorry. Lost. That's a long way back to the capital. Please. They're called the North Mines, apparently. Going through them would put us near the capital, it seems. Okay. That being the case. This road should take us to Grand Trad. Alright. We check for a way around. Next stop, Grand Trad. Uh. Yeah. This place here. Here's where we are now. Oh, love that. Okay. This place here. Oh. Let's can... see. This oh, place it's not here. that much more. This okay. Place. The north mines are full of complex paths. We can go through them to approach the capital undetected. We'll be though. going through the north mines. Are you ready? Wait. Look at the map longer. Uh, what's Stop. happening? This is a northern border fort. I have no intention of going back. Okay, I just wanted to check what's happening Don't let when we are down. pressing that one. Good. Go to the North Mines. We should hurry. Our focus is on making it to the royal capital. The Nord Mines. Ooh. Located northwest of Grand Trad. It is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation. But the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks. Exiting oh, the forest, why? the party continues along the wooded road, leading to the derelict mine. <laughs> we walk two steps. 
The mine's entrance should be just ahead. Don't stray off the path. Ah. Huh? Huh? Did your wounds reopen? Why would we say that? What's the what matter? Happened? I may be imagining it, but mm. I can't help but feel we're being watched. No. Hmm. This deep in the wilderness, though, couldn't be. Sorry, I'm just a guard. Looking for an opening to escape? Don't forget, I have my eye on you. Look at that! Hey, look! Up in the air! Birds! <sighs> oh, that large bird is known as a corvo. It stalks its prey from the sky, then goes in for an ambush. Hmm, so now what? Uh, what now? Like, we needed another addition to our list of problems. Maybe we can hide and wait it out? No, we need to keep moving. We're already low on time as is. Besides, let me guess, you could move much faster if I died back there and you didn't need to keep an eye on me. Come on, have a little faith. Let's go. Should I? If you're truly worthy, then demonstrate it. We need to move, don't fall behind. Okay, then Not let's... Sure. Uh, what are you doing? I wanted to check if there's something that's the opposite direction of where we should be going. Oh, come on. Okay, it's a tube. Uh, but there's an item. I love that items are on the minimap. Oh, you can't see the minimap. Just a second. Bloop. Okay. Uh, because on the top left, as of right now, there is not really any information... Hold on! There's some wild dogs over there! <laughs> Hundo! <laughs> Hundos! <laughs> In German that's more funny. Uh, the beasts hunt in packs. Should they come at us together, we'll be overwhelmed if we're not careful. We can't give them the chances around us. We need to find a different path for now. Why do you hesitate, lad? Just a pack of wild dogs. Barely worth a moment's worry for someone such as you. Of course. Oh. Good, you're starting to catch on. You can't let the fear paralyze you. First, take a good look at your foes. Consider, is this your first meeting or are you already familiar with them? Got it. Once you've assessed their strength, prepare your next move. If they're stronger, approach with caution. If they're weak, cut them down. Oh. Now, size up that hundo. What do you make of it? Uh, I don't know. And I'll do your thinking for you, just this once. You slipped out of death's grip at the fort, so this should hardly be a challenge. Uh, press L2 to activate face sight and identify enemy strength via the color. Lower level enemies are blue, enemies of same level yellow, and enemies stronger red, of course. Unknown enemies will appear white. When you have leveled up to a point where you think you could overpower certain enemies, you can simply approach the enemy to see if their color has changed. Oh! When engaging a weaker force, clear your mind and simply do what must be done. Put them to the sword. Weaker enemies can be defeated quickly with a simple square strike. In addition, being attacked on the field by a weaker enemy will not force you into a squad battle, though the protagonist will still take damage. Okay, if you press L1 when a cursor is over an enemy, you will lock onto that enemy. The enemy will always be in view and you can easily close the distance. All right. Understood? You try it for yourself. Let's do this! No choice but to cut through them. So we can. There they are. Oh, wait. Uh, will you go to sleep? Oh. Get ready, I see the enemy. Okay, now. Ah! Wait. Oh, we all. That's what they mean. I was preparing for a battle. Sturdy strong. Oh, so interesting. Wait, could we have. I want to try something. Oh, now with dashing, we're not even. Not only faster, uh, but. Also, we have that red glow now, since we Tokyo Ghoul our way out of the boss fight. Hold on. Ah, that's right. I have one more rule for you to keep in mind. Got it? Never drop your guard, even against weaker foes. On the battlefield, fortunes can turn if you let, for, uh, if you let up for even a moment. Should that happen, 
Change your tactics and fight together as one. Stay calm and you'll be fine. Uh, press triangle to initiate squad battle. Yeah, we know that one. If you use triangle to initiate squad battle on an enemy after depleting, yeah, uh, that's nothing new. Uh, so away the situation and use different methods to fight. Never stop looking for ways to seize any tactical advantage. Fighting in dungeons? Evaluate the enemies in your vicinity, then decide whether you dispatch them quickly with square attacks to stun them first, or jump directly to a strategic squad battle using triangle. Face side will help you determine the battle approach while staying out of enemy reach. Use it to efficiently... Yeah. I'm counting on you. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. Get comfortable with fighting before we reach Grand Dread. I need to be sure you can defend That'd yourself. Be case. Uh, wait. Uh, I've totally forgot. We have so much stuff to read up on now. Because I don't want to miss anything with this game. Humans! Unknown monsters with bizarre forms unlike any natural beast. Their bodies hold immense amounts of volatile magla and they rampage through their surroundings indiscriminately. At least they're not racist. Despite their berserk nature marking little, sign, uh, little signs of intelligence, they can wield advanced magic beyond the grasp of all sentient beings. Many aspects of their biolo uh, biology and ecology remain a total mystery. Given their unnatural physical resilience, large specimens can wipe out entire armies, although there have been sightings of humans since antiquity. Actual encounters are incredibly rare, and they have long been dismissed from being any real threat. However, recent years have seen them appearing with more rapid frequency across the Crown's lands, which has the people uneasy. Magic. Resonant vessels. Uh, when an archetype's power causes a transformation, the first stage is that of the heart becoming a metallic object of unknown origin. To activate the power, the wielder must announce their determination and their hopes for it into their newly made heart, which urges the body to awaken. This outcry is akin to the battle cries of heroes past who were known to call upon archetypes in the face of danger. It could be said that the transformation makes the wielder an ideal vision of themselves. Interesting. Archetypes, a mysterious power that Azumgi has awakened to. Shining magla engulfs the entire body, transforming it into a giant figure reminiscent of a hero. It seems to be a sort of magic, but clearly not the same kind as the igniters issued by the army. Everything about it deviates from what is commonly known as magic. Academia. A mysterious room described by Moore as Hall of Wisdom, reminiscent of a researcher's study. The chamber is filled with all manner of objects rarely seen elsewhere, from books containing secret knowledge regarding archetypes to forbidden texts and tools which accurately map the movement of the stars amongst countless others. Oh, there is still more. Two, two things. Prince's Curse. The lingering malevolent magic sustained by the prince during his assault 12 years ago. 12 years ago! At the time of the incident, great minds from all over the country attempted to break the curse, yet none were successful. Those who can see the flow of Magla say it resembles poisonous briar vines entwined around the sleeping prince. Hmm. Farsight Mirror. A mysterious looking glass tinged with magic. Entrusted by, uh, to Gallica by the Resistance for a secret mission. The Resistance? This pair of identical mirrors reflect the view of the other. Oh, no matter the distance separating them, Gallica possesses one half of the pair, while the other remains by the Prince, allowing her to check on his condition at any time. The Nord Mines. A mine dug in the hills of northwest Ukronia. Due to the abundance of high quality, the uh, Magla crystals, the mining efforts had long been run under the King's direct authority. However, some sort of catastrophic accident took place several years ago, costing many lives. And the mines was tem uh, temporarily closed until the cause of the incident could be removed. However, the mines remained shuttered, uh, shuttered? even now, and they're generally thought of as abandoned. Uh, thought of as abandoned. 
Nevertheless, as ample maglar veins still remain and the mine's entrance was never sealed off, the past years have seen a reliable influx of daredevils who come seeking their instant fortune in the mine's remaining prices, which has led to its own associated problems. Hidden Village A hidden village whose name and location are kept secret from the world. The prince, afflicted by a curse, is being sheltered and receiving treatment there. Uh, here. This is also where Azungi and Galica were issued the secret mission. An assassination attempt on the prince 12 years ago. Assailants infiltrated the palace to attack the prince as he was sleeping, catching the royal guard by surprise with their sudden appearance within the secured grounds. Though these royal guards uh, gave panic chase, they ultimately made a cataclysmic blunder. Not only did they allow the prince to be harmed, they failed to capture the assailant or even ascertain their identities. The assailant who made direct contact with the prince was a mage who fled the palace after casting a high-level curse. Thanks to the efforts of the royal healers, the prince avoided an untimely demise, but they were unable to free him from this affliction. According to the royal guards who fought the bands of assassin, a uh, band of assassins, the only clue regarding the identity of the mage was they were patently not any adult. Interesting. This assailant was able to arrange a sneak attack within the palace, had a masterful command of high-level curse magic and the appearance of a child. By all accounts, the only person to match these unique criteria was Louise, who was afterwards strongly condemned by all in the palace. However, no evidence could be found and justice is still yet to be served. Hmm. So, people. Grius. Arvid Grius, a veteran rogue warrior and resistance member alongside Azungi and Gallica. He infiltrated the ranks of the army and had been working as a covert operative. Gallica was entrusted with delivering a secret order to him. Uh, okay, just three things more and then continue. Uh, Louis Giburn. A Clamour Royal Army officer of great renown who managed to become nobility at an exceptionally young age. He possesses extraordinary skills as both warrior and an archmage, but even more highly regarded are his capabilities as a military strategist, for which his superior insight and grasp of psychology... Uh, psychology... Psychology? Ah, oh, it's just too much reading. Psychology set him apart. His faculties as a young soldier were sh so shrewd that his own allies came to grow wary of him, calling him a monster in the making. He prizes rationality above all else, strictly adhering to a policy of appointing officers by their capabilities alone, without regard for tribe or origin. As a result, senior officers accuse him of trying to undermine tradition. However, he now wields an influence far beyond a typical officer. Many believe he will be the youngest person ever to be appointed the army's highest ranking position of general. More. An enigmatic young man imprisoned in a peculiar study called Academia. He first contacted Azumi during the uh, particularly trying moment by somehow linking their consciousness. Though he is undoubtedly an ally, many mysteries surround him such as his knowledge that igniters are not essential to magic or his profound expertise on archetypes. Mage, a general term for those who have good command over magic, formally it refers to those who have achieved a national qualification to professionally use magic. However, as many commoners have difficulty discerning those who are formally qualified, this catch-all terms rose to prominence. There are several tiers to mage certification, with the majority being for low-tier artisans, engineers and soldiers, which limit the type and usage of, uh, usage of magic. However, some professions have fewer restrictions, such as magic professors and healers. The higher the tier of certification, the more difficult it is to obtain. Few in the kingdom hold the highest tier and one bearer alone can influence nations. Ah, that was a lot. Wild Corvo. I will beat the crap out of you. Brace yourself. We were not able to. Oh, if you attack in a dungeon, you'll be forced into a squad battle. With... Oh yeah, I know. The awesome battle music again. If you're unhappy with how the battle's going, you can start. Uh, yeah, okay, don't repeat that. 
Pressing R2 assist will automatically move the cursor to an enemy who has weaknesses to a skill you have. That is amazing. Uh, I guess we'll just try what we got. Okay. Try! Okay, that's not. Okay, uh, it's not wind. Let's go. Oh, item. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Don't attack me. Don't attack. Yes! Okay, wait. Is it. Oh no, this is HP recovery. So, as of right now, we don't know what the weakness is. Maybe it's fire? Hmm. Unscathed triumph. Bouncy bug! Okay, so those can just cut through. All the poor doggos. Feels so mean. Do we have a big map? Yes, but it doesn't help us right now. Who are you? Are you a merchant? Wait, no, wrong button. This is. Oh, no, don't attack me. Charging in. Yes. This is our chance. This is awesome. This is so much fun. Okay, let's try. Oh, yes, they're weak against... Oh, wait, there is no double turn when you hit the weakness? Interesting. Recovered from stun. Oh, no. It's not an unscathed triumph anymore. What was that? Soldier sword. Let's catch up with. But yes, level Looks up. Like we're safe for now. Oh no, no level up. Sturdy strong. Hi! Hello! Who are you? Young peddler. Oh, oh no. It? Haven't seen you lots around these parts before. You wouldn't be bandits now, would you? What are you talking about? <laughs> hmm, now that I get a better look at you, I'd say you aren't bandit material. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'm just on edge. I know it's funny to think in a deserted place like this, but I feel like I'm being followed. Right. What are you doing in such a remote place? Whoa, I'm not your enemy friend, I'm just a peddler. I've a regular, uh, regular nearby, so I came for business, but the beasts are really bloodthirsty today, so I assumed a human appeared. For instance, have you heard about the human who appears from nowhere and wipes out entire towns? Terrifying, no? <laughs> My apologies, didn't mean to sour the mood. Um, hey, would you not be interested in buying something? Uh, at least we have about a thousand money. Mm. Uh, in my trade you hear a lot of gossip. Plenty of rumors lately about beasts from all over getting more feral by the day. And when that happens, a human eventually appears out of nowhere and destroys some town or village. Chills me even to speak of it. I heard that monsters have been running a mark lately at the nearby border fort. Hope nothing bad has happened. Okay. Medicinal herb, uh, we have a lot right now, so I don't think that we will need anything. Thanks. Have you found something worth selling? I can give you a good price. Plenty of stuff in these woods, lots of rubbish, but some materials too. You won't catch me scavenging for it today. Thank you. I'll stay put until the beasts settle down. If you find something worth selling, you know where to find me. Wait, we do have stuff to sell. Welcome. Uh, consider selling it, consider selling it, consider selling it. Wait. Accessories? Oh, so these are really just stuff to sell and not craft items? I mean, we don't need money right now, so I'm gonna keep those. Thank you. Much obliged to come back. I did nothing. Um,. I'm gonna keep them for now. And right there. Um just a second. Yes! Okay. Um, 
what I wanted to say. I am gonna look into it and if those are craftable items. And if not, then I'm just gonna sell them. I'm just trying. Bouncy Park. Oh, no, no, this way. Oh, more! I see the enemy. Oh. Okay. Evade! Ah. Nice. This is so awesome. But I don't need to use MP. Oh, or maybe we should. Damn, we should have. It's not an unscathed victory. <sighs> oh. Looks like it's not safe yet. Stay alert. Okay, those who can. Miss. I'm so sorry. Hey, you found something. Oh, this one is not stronger. Okay. Um, this feels so mean. I'm sorry, Hundo. There they are. Okay. Come here. Oh. Oh, no. Um, right there. No. There they are. This one. I see the enemy. Okay. Before the Corvo attacks us. Oh, I don't like it, but we have to use this. We're not doing enough damage alone. I don't know how to control the other two. No way. Otherwise, I would are. not. Uh, come on. Oh, nice. Okay. Was not expecting it. I was preparing to evade an attack. Take this. Take this. Nice. Um. Somebody because there was no option to I think we're in the clear. control the other two. I mean, I want to give commands to Stroll and Grius. Oh, right there. Good. There they are. Come here. Notice us. No. Ah. Wait. Wait. Oh, perfect. So, that's enough. Take this finish the job. I love the fight system. Unscathed triumph. Even easier than expected. And then we can just press so fast through it. Amazing. Old coin. All the money. Hold, the air here suddenly grown tense. Got a moment? Hey, what's going on? We've been surrounded. Even out here, it would seem that the monsters are the least of our concerns. <laughs> I know you can hear me, so show yourself. Or would you rather we come at you? Oh. Damn. Awfully sharp for an old gold, ain't ya? The bastards lived long enough. Kill him quick! Why? Aren't we on the same side? It appears we really? must do this. I've never fought soldiers before. But I won't waver. Wind! Oh. They're tough. What is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! <sighs> Got no mercy for you. Okay. We are being targeted. Here they come! Press circle to guard, which consumes one turn icon. Guarding greatly decreases the damage your character takes and prevents any weakness from being exploited. This prevents the enemies from gaining turns too. Oh. What's that? I think something's coming! Watch oh. out! Okay. Freezing! Take this! And that's good. No! 
Squad battles, your formation will affect the damage party members deliver and receive depending on their position. Those in the front row deal more damage with melee attacks, those in the back row deal less melee damage but take less damage from enemies. Yeah, well that's... During battle you can change your formation by using... Okay. Um, well, it's not changing the damage when they are attacking with magic. Stroll, what is up with you? That's the second time you're missing. Take this! Take this! The third time! What is wrong with you? Oh, we're being targeted again. Defend! And finally hit me. Blast! Take this! Finish the job! Get ready! Yet. So, the first mark is Here done. Oh no, Gaia's awake. I started way earlier today. So, I thought we could maybe circumvent uh, her annoyingness a little bit. But now, she's here. Are they the soldiers from the fort? They survived? No, it could not. They're simply deserters, aren't they? No. That's not what I'm asking. How would they have already mobilized a pursuit? Mm. I don't know, but I think it's safe to say I'm the least of your worries at this point. Okay. In any case, we should probably keep moving. Let's go. Yeah, she's right. Oh, there it All is, right. the mines. Here we are. It looks so creepy. Well, I guess you did say it was abandoned. Aye, the crown theocracy ordered it so. I haven't been to this place in quite some time. Despite the royal decree, I still hear of miners risking it all to come to this place, seeking the riches left within. I'll happily trade some illegal miners for the armed detachment of soldiers pursuing us. Shall we hurry inside? You're not wrong there. Make preparations if you must. Be quick about it. The peddler is here. Hello. Uh, first. Okay, we can't do anything with the camera. We had full health and MP. Thank you. Last night's incident wiped out the forest, uh, fort's entire garrison. Surely they lack the manpower needed to search for deserters. Somehow, we're already being pursued. Regardless, due to the nature of our mission, it'd be best if they consider us dead. Let's push through this mine while we can. So it wasn't just my imagination, to think we were being followed this whole time. But like Rius said, something's off. When that human came out of nowhere, it wiped out all the soldiers to the last. Then again, maybe it didn't come out of nowhere. But if that's the case, no, it couldn't be. Uh, yeah, thanks, we don't need anything. Wait a second! Wait! Wait what? There's probably a bunch of shady miners in there, right? Will we be safe around them? Fear not. Most of them are the same miners who worked here before the closure. Besides, it'd be against their best interest to cause a scene and risk the crown theocracy coming down on this place, right? Oh, sounds like they won't be a problem then. Are you ready? Let's go. If our pursuers catch up with us, and it'll be a whole mess of trouble that... It'll be a whole mess of trouble that I'd rather not deal with. Let's move with haste. Oh. However, it's dead quiet. Are you sure there are still people working here? That disquieting. I don't know what's wrong. That disquieting stillness you feel? Those are your instincts alerting you to the bloodthirst in the air. Judging by the people who were after us before, it's likely. Stop. Don't move. Hold, deserters! They're already in here? Intimidating soldier. You're trapped like rats now. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. As I thought, we've walked right into an ambush. They've got us at a disadvantage. Catching us in this narrow bottleneck, we need to turn back now. 
It's no use. The entrance is already barricaded with soldiers. Surrender immediately. You've got nowhere to run, and if you don't comply, ha, then the miners will pay the price for your insolence. Wait. Dude. This is a misunderstanding. We're not deserters. We were forced to retreat. We had no choice. A human. Ah, yes. We're all aware of your predicament. That's exactly why we can have why we can't have any survivors. Our orders are to let none escape. Well, it appears we've set into a whole damned conspiracy. We have no choice. We fight our way through. Here they come! Stop them here and now! Uh right there. Okay. Forward! Oh wow! Okay. I was preparing for a squad battle, but apparently we don't need to. Claps. I see the enemy. <laughs> so there is another one. Nice. Scrap battle. So should we do? A f oh no, there is a miner. Someone's collapsed. Oh, he still lives. Hey, are you all right? I told you. I didn't see no deserters. Please, don't kill me. Life has gone from his eyes. What? No. Why? To send a message, boy. Boy. Either we give ourselves up. These innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived. And the only one who could send soldiers after us. Louis. Oh, come on, let's move. <coughs> what are you doing? I mean, there's no problem at all us. for us. Right I see the enemy. <laughs> Those are supposed to be soldiers. I mean, we're at least 18, but still. Why is there fog? What? Isn't that... Just as I thought. It all makes sense now. It appears that we were expected. It was Captain Klinger. The bastard. Yeah. I knew I'd find you here. You were the only one who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard. You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there. Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the kingdom's guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the king's guard disgraced, and when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? No. A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. What a bastard. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements, the villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... It's... it's now his backstory time. <laughs> Seven years ago! Seven years ago. <laughs> The first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. 
I know that Nibelheim was five years ago in the story, but seven because Final Fantasy seven. That was my joke. Hmm? Oh yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Damn. Let's mess him up. Stay back! Oh? Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> this was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! He's awakening. Oh, Gaia's thou crying, of course. Feared with bitterness. Oh, thou anguished traveler. It is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lord Star, whose light reveals the king's own path. Awaken. Abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you. Oh, this is so vicious. My name is Leon Stroll the Halliators. My home <laughs> and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house. I am the last of my noble bloodline. And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Why is it so amazing? Holy crap! Come! I will show you a world with honor! Harem. What is this? What is this? Okay, before we start the fight, let me take care of Gaia. Ah, this is... Again, I started almost an hour earlier just to avoid this, but she knows, she knows. Ah, so, uh, sorry, she's covered in her blanket. We can start. This amazing battle. So is he a paladin? Is that what I understand? He's got power like yours now? Well, better show him how to use it. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that. Dude, the... Uh, there is someone who just transformed into a humongous knight with a sword that is twice your size. This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash. You lot, get to it! Cover me! So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. Well, it was no real surprise when the first um, wounded soldier came to he us. He's just powerful. But it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. Deals weak physical slash damage to one enemy. Oh, we have to do it. Archetype skill warrior, so no paladin, warrior. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of those first. Die already. There is a lot of damage. Yeah, let's just get rid of those as fast as possible. Let's go! Oh, oh, resist fire? Make sure defense rolls. Oh dude. I'm sorry, but 205. Come forth, royal soul! Take this! Take this! What's the play? Um wait, what's there? Stepping back, closing the distance. Oh, this 
happens without losing a turn. Okay. Status? Oh no, status is... Archetype details. Oh, wow, okay. Heat up slash boost. Oh, these are the next levels. Need rank 3. Ooh, interesting. Oh, there's so much. Looks like we can't brute force through Analyze. Gloria, okay. I'll cut you down. We finally have stroll. Uh, I just registered it now. Uh, yeah, let's just attack him with magic and the slash attack. Yeah, that's what's going to happen to you. You, you. Oh. Yeah, just try to do that again. Pardon. Oh, come on, that was so close. Louise. Louise. Captain's uniform. Ooh. Oh, damn! Two levels! Uh, we're going to do... Two points! I always want to put at least one point into... What was N? Uh, with strength, magic... Agility, luck, what was N? Endurance? Um, we also need a little bit more strength. I admit, it feels good to get stronger. Okay, he levels up automatically. Impossible. Is it though? Ah. Rescued miner. Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How? How did I do all that? And without an igniter. Well, you became a singer in a metal band. This is mine. <laughs> Just like him. Who are you two, really? Well, I... wouldn't you? Uh, wouldn't you want to know? I'm Leon Strong. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Not anymore. Back right there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but. He abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but we were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who will answer for it. Yep. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. Of course. You're the best. You see, I love Chris? you. I see. Keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? Friend. You're already one of us. We're brothers in arms. We're brothers in arms, my friend. Brothers in... Uh, yes. Oh, that's all. I'll do my best to deserve that honor. He? Now, onward. The ah, why is it getting dark again? Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. New power? Oh. Together we stand. The party can now study the warrior. He's my second leg on the left. I feel struck by inspiration. I found a new way to harness this power. You can sense the heroic embodiment of the warrior from Stroll. 
Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? Huh? Wait, what? What's happening? Oh. That's a lot of effects. Oh, wait, what? Hey, where are we? What just happened? Oh, yes, she doesn't know. Surprising indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey, you gonna talk to me or just at me? <laughs> we meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Yeah. Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Thanks for rubbing Your it in. Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. I love, uh, on his character model to the right, to his left, the a quill that moves on its own. That is amazing. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing, you know. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Aww. Hey, hold on a second. Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me. Ah, that's cute. You two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always, but now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Aww, right. right. We Dorm. trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. The that's mystical so fairy, Gallica. Oh. Within her dwells the virtue of the mage. Nurture thy bond with her. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I won't lead you astray. That's the whole reason I'm here. The party can now start with the mage. Oh, interesting. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the mage from Gallica. Hey, really love her character. Wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, hmm. your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet, if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. Oh, what? What? You mean Rius could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. Interesting. This right here. Oh. What am I about to show you is a lineage chart of the archetypes I've been researching. That said, there are many I've yet to see. So it's far from complete. Each of you has your own chart. You will use these charts in the assigning of archetypes. Oh, Firstly, let us consider the one-eyed warrior who yet bears no archetype. Open Grius's lineage chart, please. Wait, why? Oh, 
This is so awesome. Uh, seeker, warrior, nothing. Archetype mastery. This here. Oh. This is the chart that shows the power and connection of the archetypes. Okay. You can gain a new archetype by selecting one here and studying its powers. To study you will need Magla, the source of all magic, but simply drawing from the Magla within yourself will put too heavy a burden on you. What this means is you will need to gather mag from your battles and other sources. Keep that in mind as you travel. Each character can study archetypes obtained throughout the story by selecting the corresponding icon on the tree. Studying archetypes consumes mag minuscule shards of magla crystals. Once a shard a character has studied an archetype, you can use the main menu to change the channeled archetype at no cost. That means... To learn is to change oneself, they say. Here, you may achieve that through the study of archetypes and their deepest secrets. Now then. Now, I'd like you to choose an archetype from among these. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Give me tree mage. Oh no, it's the tree of the mage. Using fire, ice and electric magic, it excels at hitting enemies' weak points. We have 1,300 mag. What? Okay. Interesting. I see. Yes, study. Right here. An expert in magical attacks of three specialities, fire, ice and electric. Such a broad palette of magical offense can be crucial to exploit enemy weaknesses. Note, however, that a mage's defense, uh, defenses are paltry at best. They cannot endure much harm. They are best kept out of foes' attentions, or the battle will turn dire. They also tend to go through their MP faster, and a mage without MP, well, they are practically dead weight. You'll have to use your magic strategically to succeed. Right. 500 mag is required to channel the mage. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Uh, sure. Yes. He's earned my trust. Of course. So be it. Following you and the young man called Stroll, another worthy wielder of archetypes joins our ranks. From this sanctum, I shall speak to the heart of the man with the eye patch, Grius. Feel his resolve, and let a new soul dwell in his heart. <laughs> I hear the voices of past hero souls. O worthy heart who tempers anxiety into strength, if thou art prepared to pursue knowledge that surpasses the natural logic of the world, I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the mage. What did you say? Hmm. What is this? Is it truly an archetype? This is the same magic I once drove for. Can't believe it's finally in my grasp. The mage archetype is awakened. You can now change archetypes from the main menu. I see. This could be useful. Innocent staff, captain's uniform, horse hide gloves, unpolished garment. Okay. Fascinating. The man with the eye patch should now have awoken to an archetype. Similarly, I can imbue you and that noble youth with a new archetype power. Feel free to experiment now and from here on. Oh. I hear a familiar voice. Magic is that which manifests itself from yearning. Is it a thing born of the heart? The most resonant vessel in thee, which awakens with a roar, thou art its speaker. This uh, tis thy means to shout down thy fears, with a voice like thunder. The heroes of old perished, only possessing one, yet this marks the apart. Thou canst acquire and wield many. Who are you? This voice. I can't remember. Oh. So, we can also... Oh, it's already... Wait. Seeker already studied. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We need a uh, study required. Okay. I'm not gonna do more. Uh, by talking to more in academia and studying archetypes, you will be able to unlock and then use new archetypes. 
You gain useful strategic knowledge by attending more lectures or by reading books from the surrounding bookshelves. Some functions of the main menu are now available, such as changing your archetypes. Archetypes that have been studied in academia can be swapped in town or dungeons at any time. Changing them to suit your needs is a good strategy. You can now check the statue of your royal virtues, the qualities necessary in a king, from the main menu. You can raise these virtues in many ways. Are we going to be the new king? Is this a hint? Hi, cat! That's a good giddy. <gasps> 10 out of 10. Hmm? Oh, don't you see this kind of cat in the city, huh? This cat, you see. Cute, isn't he? I named him Plato. He's the only solace I have as I'm confined here. Hmm? Looks like Plato wants to give me something. <gasps> hero's incense. I obtained a hero's That's incense. That's a good boy. Oh, it looks like he's taken shine to you. That's a valuable item, so do hold on to it. <gasps> Pet the kitty. <laughs> Petting him is soothing him of itself. I'm able to forget the hustle of the outside world, even if for a moment. <laughs> what a cute cat. Look at his face. It's like he knows he's cute. Of course they know they're cute. <laughs> his fur is soft and clean, like mine. Makes me curious how he takes care of it. Well, he licks it. What a cute thing. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, mystical scrolls. The scrolls has shaped of a language I've never seen before. It must be some kind of formula. It says the royal magic at the top. That is. That's a formula for a rather complex spell. When mages devise such intricate magic, they commit the formula to scroll in advance. What? Hold on. Are you saying the king himself wrote this? Why would it be here of all places? I couldn't begin to tell you. Perhaps the previous king had this reason for imprisoning me here after all. I would love to decipher its contents, but it will take a good amount of time. It's written in a script I've never laid eyes on but... before. But before you go, there's just one thing. Would you mind taking a look at the very end of the scroll? What's this? And what's this? It's a drawing! Take a look. Indeed, it's no more than a simple illustration. But do you not think it bears some resemblance to the Seeker archetype? Oh yeah, it does! Moreover, it bears a caption, and mysteriously enough, of all the language therein. That is the one part I'm able to pass. It says Beardy! <laughs> the name of a person unmistakably so though I could not begin to tell you why I feel so certain I love that it's just an old dude <laughs> with a long beard <laughs> oh this is the best a person's name <laughs> Well, that's certainly a mystery on top of an enigma. <laughs> Makes me wonder what it says. Adieu. Should you learn anything new, I would appreciate very much if you'd share it with me. Please examine the scroll whenever you've learned new truths. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is a big room. Oh, the Book of Apocalypse. Marvel X-Men. What's with this ominous red book? It's all chained up. That is... I advise you don't touch that. I have a variety of books here from all over the world. Many of them are quite pleasant reads. That one is not. All right. Suffice it to say, it must not be read without due precaution. So we will read it in the future. Which book should I read? Animal Reinforcement, Wielding Weapons. Oh, okay. I need a moment, let me prepare for more reading. Oh, my mouth is all dry already. Maybe I should drink something else and coffee when playing a game where I have to talk a lot. Remember that your foes also have a grasp of teamwork. Do they though? Charging blindly into a well-tuned enemy group can lead easily to preventable loss of life. After a squad battle has ended, nearby enemies may show up as reinforcement to continue the fight. Oh, that is interesting. 
Enchanted Archetypes power has a significant impact on the effect of any gear and weapons equipped. Each weapon category offers their own attack range and agility. Once you understand the dynamics of archetypes in combat gear, success will come easier. When in dungeons, the protagonist's method of attack depends on his weapon and can be changed by switching the archetype he has channeled. Different archetypes change both the actions available to you and the protagonist's attack range. Keep this in mind when choosing an archetype for the protagonist. Huh. Uh, okay. This seems to be about archetype uh, tactics. Archetypes cannot realize the true potential on individual strength alone. Strategize, uh, strategies must account for attack, support, recovery, teamwork and formation. Naturally, optimal strategies require first grasping the fundamentals, yet some battle demands a team of singular specialization in boldness and planning. Party formation tips. The most effective way to form your party is to consider the balance of attack, recovery and assist skills in your archetypes. If you obtain information about enemies in advance, you can rearrange archetypes to counterattack uh, enemy strength and strike at enemy weaknesses. Cultivate your archetype strategically so that you may employ a wide range of battles strategically. Okay, last books. Which book should I read? Why are there so many? Yielding turns. Allowing your ally to take action instead and leaving yourself vulnerable may seem futile at first glance, but you'll find it lends many strategic possibilities. Try to consider the many aspects of battle, such as the order of turns, advantages against the enemy, and the state of your allies when deciding your actions. The pass action cycles control to the next character while only consuming half a turn icon. Oh, this can be useful when the current character skill are not effective against the enemy when you want to give a character with recovery magic another action. Oh, wow, okay. Guarding. It goes without saying that a blind offensive rush may not be enough to win. It will be necessary at times to raise your defenses and endure an incoming attack. Yeah, we already know what guarding is. Formations. Is this stepping forth and back? Your road distance from the enemy has a great impact on battle. A true tactician will switch the formation of allies to better suit the situation at hand. Yeah, we already know that one. Negated attacks. If you lose the ability to attack, the enemy will quickly gain the upper hand. When confronting an unfamiliar enemy, due caution is warranted. Normally an action consumes one turn icon, but the result of the action can change the amount of consumption. If an attack is nullified or evaded, the number of turn icon consumes is doubled. Oh no! If an attack is reflected or absorbed, all turn icons are lost and the turn forcibly ends. No. Okay, status ailments. Some monsters inflict lasting conditions called status ailments. It is wise to be know, uh, to be know their effects, of course, but even better to have the means of remedy close at hand. Yeah, it's poison and such things. Physical status ailment persist even after battle ends. Mental status ailments automatically recover when a battle ends. Oh no. Poison HP depletes. Okay, yeah, paralysis. High chance of an action failing to occur after selecting it. Melody. Strength, magic, endurance, agility, and luck are greatly reduced. Additionally, HP and MP recovery effects are nullified without recovery amounts. Oh, with recovery amounts becoming zero. Half of any damage dealt is dealt to self as well. Additionally, while afflicted, resistance to dark is greatly reduced and sus susceptibility to status ailments is greater increased. Oh, uh, burn, okay, frostbite, yeah, attack damages, okay. There are so many, okay, mental. Uh, those are the ones that disappear after the fight. Uh, days, hit rate, okay, charm, we know, forget, cannot use abilities, sleep, yes, rage, I want to rage! Character has higher attack power, but damage from enemies is greatly increased, all actions become normal weapon attacks. Anxiety, oh, this is the one that I have. An ally only 
in preventing the use of archetype skills. If attacked while afflicted, the enemy will not consume a turn icon. That is rough. Stun, uh, yeah, okay. Enemy only. They cannot act for one turn. That was a lot. Rewards of certain victory. Overpowering the enemy utterly can be a source of immense growth. At times, this is a good to it is good to wield all your powers in full force to test your own limits. If you crush all your enemies without getting damaged, oh yeah, okay. Not now. Okay. Oh, we read everything. Open door. My young friend. My you young are truly friend. as remarkable oh. as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Okay. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, seize a future of their own making. <sighs> When next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. Andy's just looking at me. I love you, baby. As you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. I did not think that we will leave the room immediately. I thought this is going to be another room. What? Where are we? You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. How long? Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. <laughs> I'm just glowing and my whole body is becoming energetic. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. Oh. What? So that wasn't a dream. Grius, that's probably his power. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it. I told the two about the term archetype and the gist of what I learned. Awakened it? But that? Who are you people? The truth, <laughs> if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is, well, I think. Uh, I think oh, you may oh, be sorry. Right. I didn't want to press. The way it feels is, well, this is magic, eh? I know we're giving up on it, but fate had other plans, it seems. Why does he seem so down with it? Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. Okay, you can now give instructions to your allies, yes, during battle. During battle you can also use uh, R3 to engage in auto battle. Oh yes, this is something that's going to be good later. To change auto battle tactics during battle, press L1. To access the order view, outside of battle, find them under tactics. Oh yes, please. We have five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Over there? What's up? Uh, you don't see anything? I don't sense anything off. What are you on about? So no one else really sees him? Hmm, maybe we're the only ones who can go to that room. Oi, are you not alright? I saw a dead miner and assumed there's some incident, uh, accident, but looking at it now, that isn't the case at all. 
It was the military. What business would they have in a place like this? Hold on. Don't tell me they're after the miners. Hold on. Wait. How did you get in here? I'm certain the entrance and exit were sealed off by soldiers. Soldiers? I didn't see anyone. Only one I saw was that pasty fella who looked like some kind of general. You mean Klinger? But you left him splayed out over there. Huh? What? He's gone? Damn it. Oh no. We must go after him. It'll be bad for us if he returns with reinforcement. No. Leave him be. He has no one else left, I wager. He was bluffing about sealing off the exits. On top of that, he failed to finish us off. He won't be able to return to Louis as anything but a disgrace. Sure. You're right. Let's leave him be at least for now. It's not like he can go back to the military either after what he said to us. Hmm. I've no idea what this is all about, but I'm relieved. I was worried everyone would be dead in here. I'm going to be around for a while. If you need anything, you know who to ask. The protagonist in Gallica can see more in dungeons of towns. Interact with him to take a moment, read your novel, Transport Academia. Use the touchpad to see what level other players were at and what party formations they used when they cleared the dungeon you are challenging. Oh wow! When selecting information to review, you can also change your party formation to reflect on other players. Really good to know. We made it, but Klinger really got one over us, didn't we? Okay. He didn't have the troops to secure the entrance and exit. Thinking about it now, I should have seen right through his bluff. It was my duty to protect you and Gallica. I regret to admit my judgment has dulled, and so I fear you both. Don't worry about it. Look at you, all full-fledged. I suppose now I'm the one being told what to do when it comes to fighting. Time to rely on the power of yours. I leave you to this club. If we can get past this point, we'll soon find the road to Grand Pratt. We can't be late for the royal funeral. Let's hurry. <laughs> oh! What is happening? I mean, courage, wisdom, tolerance, eloquence. Imagination. Okay. Oh, we can't attack, but oh, those are the royal virtues. I wanted to smash these with my sword. Traveler's voices. Oh. Those are all... Oh, that is so nice. We're the highest level. Oh no, there are a couple of level 5s. Okay. Damn it, we can't let Klinger get away. We won't get away. I know this is not the time for relentless pursuit, but this doesn't sit well with me. Above all, the mission is our priority right now. We must reach Grand Thread before the royal funeral. Besides, if Louis is the mastermind behind all this, there is only one thing for me to accomplish. He must be assassinated. I will do everything I can take, uh, I can, to make. Uh, I will do everything I can to make that happen. I'll continue to count on you. Yeah. Hi, miner. <sighs> I was expecting voice acting. <laughs> that was. Oh, that was nearly it for me. I'm sorry. So you got dragged into all this. Most of the guard soldiers are unhinged maniacs, if it helps. Right. Considering you're apologizing, I guess you aren't the bad guys. I see why Klinger stooped to using hostages as bait. A worthless captain. But he certainly had an eye for new recruits. A surefire tactic against your like. I'm hardly ashamed. That aside. Uh, that aside, you're not passing through these caves, are you? You'd best turn back now, if so. Something nasty is in the air lately. The gelatinous is jiggling around in there. They're not just little jellies anymore. They're downright dangerous. Try chasing them away, but a blade doesn't do much to them. Fire's our best shot. Or getting someone with an igniter to blast them. Didn't used to be so many of them around. Now there are so many, we might never clear them out. This place is a right. Uh, this place is a right monster's den these days. All I'm saying is, it's a long way to the other end of the mountain. No man could get through that unscathed. But the king's funeral is upon us. We haven't the time to look for other routes. Not much else we can do then. 
But we should at least make sure we can use some magic. Yeah, we have fire magic. If that's true, then it'll be dangerous. We should restock our healing supplies then. We have basically everything. We should save. Because stuff has happened. <sighs> Deeper inside the real monster then. I tell you, I've got to mind those gelatinouses in particular. They're so blobby that sounds... Oh yeah, okay. Hi, what do you have to say? Hi. I wouldn't go any further if I were you. The mining area felt strange lately. Not just monsters, there's some dangerous magma crystal that mesmerizes them, or so others claim. I thought that mere superstition, but either way, it's not normal. Just be on your guard. We will. Grand Iron. Oh wait, memorandum. There's a lot again. Um, let's start from up here. On Gallica. Gallica tried to stay resolute as a zombie's chaperone, but as he gets involved in unexpectedly intense battles, she begins to doubt her role in the grand scheme of things. However, with the fairy's unique ability to deflect anxiety, she does her best to help the protagonist in whatever way she can. Stroll. The son of the noble family of Halia, a village that was destroyed by a human. Now that he has lost his home and family, he has only his pride to redeem himself from the shallowness, shallowness of his past self. Captain Klinger, the captain in charge of new recruits at the recruitment center. A short, boldly unsoldierly man, called an incompetent fool. By stroll after an attack um, on the fort led him to order new recruits to the front lines in a panic. Or so he made it seem. In actuality, he is a fervent supporter of Louis and had always planned to take a mass of new recruits to die at the hands of humans in order to demonstrate his support for Louis's assertion. Plateau. Oh, Plateau, you're the best. A um, Moss pet who lives in academia with him. He doesn't necessarily resemble the animals called cats that exist elsewhere. The strange charm hanging around his neck, a type of magic igniter according to Moore, always for visions of him to be projected outside of academia. Huh. Traveling peddler. Merchants who travel from town to town, selling re regional specialities from across the kingdom at higher markup. They are invariably veteran travelers, even willing to explore caves and other places where the world's monsters are most likely to lurk. The sense of adventure and the rarity of their goods often inspire awe in those who have never ventured outside their town's borders. Okay. Magic. Mag. Minuscule fragments of magla crystals that accumulate in the bodies of animals and magical beings in areas where magla is dense. Though they are of little use to ordinary citizens, there is a system in Grand Red where people can sell their fragments. As a result, the people, like soldiers whose work gives them ample opportunity to leave the city, carry a bag to collect them instead of throwing them away. That's nice. So last one, Halia. A mountain village governed by House Haliatus, the family of Leon Stroll. Not wishing to partake in the extravagant lifestyle of most nobles, Stroll's parents were modest in their governance and considerate to the people. However, when a human suddenly attacked seven years ago, the village was reduced to rubble after petitions for the state army's aid went unanswered. Stroll's parents lost their life saving their son and their people. Today, the village remains uninhabited, no trace of its former self remaining. That's so sad. Wait, we read a lot. I don't want to lose that progress. I know we're not losing the progress because it's being recorded and such, but um, I know that I'm going to be confused later in the game when I'm not saving this and something happens. <gasps> What's this? This uncanny feeling in the air. This place. No, really gelatinous blobs. The magma here feels awfully dense too. Was it always like this? It was not. This used to be a completely mundane mineshaft, no different from the others. Perhaps this is what the miners were talking before. Something about the interior of this place being unusual. 
Assassinating Rui is our top priority. Do not forget that. Prepare yourselves now, for we'll have no time to rest until we're through here. Mind their numbers and watch your health carefully. We clear? Auto recovery. While moving, press uh, up to use auto recovery. This will use skill from party member's equipment archetype to heal the party to full health. Be careful. Um, so we're probably just gonna finish there they are. this um, dungeon right. and then that's it. Um, box deals weak fire damage. Yeah. Burn! Stay focused! It's okay. Much to learn from you. So, what does this do? Also enough damage? It is enough damage. Unscaled Triumph. Oh, increases one ally's attack for three turns. Nice! Oh, it makes support attacks from your comrades happen more easily in overworld combat. Oh! I think that's all of them. Let's okay. stash that somewhere safe. Firm is ointment. I see the enemy. Push through. This could be our chance. Let's go. So obviously we're gonna do the fire or damage. But... Oh, that's really not a lot. Oh no, this is also. Oh. I forgot that Stroll has a slash attack. Unscathed time. Rank up! Um. Okay. Right there. Can we get rid of that one? No choice but to cut through them. We have the edge. Yeah, we don't know what the weak point is. We're just gonna try. Resist. Resist. You know what? Let's overkill. Interesting. So maybe ice. I think I'm getting used to it. Ice follow. Oh. oh, they're level one. It's still so mean. Uh, okay, we have to go. There they are. But magic did a lot of damage, so we're gonna. It's 45. Is that a lot? I don't know. Still here? Now, what's the play? Are you prepared? I'll cut you down. Five MP for the slash. The slash does way more damage. So. It's okay. Oh yeah, he has a magic staff now. Okay, uh, you still have points remaining and all the allocation anyway. You will retain unused points and can allocate them anytime. Oh, wow, okay. Don't let your guard down. There's more of them. So, wait. What Equipment. Not? Awakened Steel. Uh, Legacy Sword. Innocence. Soldier Sword. Traveler's clothes. Oh, there is more. Captain's uniform. Yeah. Change whose equipment. Oh, he had that one. Wait, then. Traveler's shoes. Horse side shoes. Evade zero. Hmm. But good defense. Oh. Oh, okay. So, but we don't see who has it equipped. For that, so tiny charm that fairies carry, Gallica only. Huh. Okay, wait, I accidentally. Captain's uniform. Innocent staff. Unremarkable staff given by more. It's a strike. 
Heirloom Greatsword, Soldier Sword. Do we have Military Curas? Uh, oh yes, okay. Oh, no, okay. So I think we're good. Right there. Okay, come here. Time for some Nice. Um, yeah, it's not that much damage, but I'm gonna. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh no. It's not an unscathed triumph. No! Okay, he does. We only had two points? I did not pay attention to that. Phantom Dance? Okay. Yeah, then let's just eat his ass. I really have to learn to look at the points that we have every round. Mark Lap Hill! For 20 MP, nice. Oh, and it shows that the chest is already being opened. What was that? Oh, there were a lot. Let's just do from this side. They saw us? Oh yeah, they saw us. Oh. So we're already strong enough that they get demolished. There they are. Oops. Right there. No. Come and get Nice. Oh, the one is also here. Let's run into dust. Let's get rid of this one first. In the name of just no holding back. This one will be gone. Yeah. True magic. We have one point left, so we can use the turn. Go to him. Because that close combat attack is more valuable. Nice! Ice damage! Hopefully that's the last of them for a while. Oh, more cubes. There they are. Time for some Hey, great job! Nice. Minus boots. Just ten defense. That's not much. Okay, now we can go towards. I see the end. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we have everything. Boss fight? No. Not good. This is all for naught if our way is blocked. It's not, there is... Like this. That's not all either. I'm sensing Magla, and the feeling's only getting stronger. It's disturbing. Like, back at the fort. Me. Same as the fort. Surely you don't but... mean... Fear is a luxury we can't afford right now. That... Oh, uh, that... Gallica's words are cause for concern, but for now, we need to keep moving. Luke. Look closely, lad. There is a gap between those collapsed rocks. We should be able to squeeze through. We go one at a time. Okay. Pass through. Oh. Oh, there they somewhere. Are. How scary. Push through. Amazing. Great back there. Right there. Oh. We have the edge. Oh, there are more. Oh, there are a lot of enemies. 
no. Okay. Get rid of you first. It's okay. We can do this. Uh, resist? Oh, because. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Wait. not resisting that, but. Still up? Ah. Now, what's the play? I shall vanquish evil. But you we can do this now. This is true magic. That one is stunned. The cube has to go. Yeah, it's not going to attack us. It's stunned. Yeah. So we can just attack it. it should be enough. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, we could have used ice against them, so that we know. Oh, new new skill. Passive. Increases physical skill attack by 10%. Attack increase further if archetypes of the same lineage are present. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to murderize you. Grand Iron. That was brilliant. <laughs> that was brilliant. You murdered the crap out of those harmless beasts. Oh, teeth. Great job. Iron Gauntlets. Defense 13. Huh. I love this art piece. It's amazing. Uh, are those here? Yeah, they are. Fairly durable gauntlets forge for Grand Iron. Give it. So, leather gaunt. Uh, horsehide gloves. Hmm. Leather cures with leather gloves. Again, I really just want to see who equipped one of those already. It would be way easier to see. Okay, that should be the human now. Wait, save. We heal all allies. No. Oh, we can't save. What now? System. <gasps> no, we can't. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, they can fly now. Oh. Thank you. So, cut you. You've been spotted on your guard. Dad. Amazing. I love how that's. Great moves back there. Thanks. How is that possible? With just one slag. Okay. That's a lot They're of damage. Better be careful. Let's go. Okay, let's try to fire first. What? Now, what's the Damn, point? two points are gone. Okay, turn back the clock. <laughs> Opening volley, nice, because... Totally yes, this stays. Ah, oh, that is good. That doesn't do a lot of damage. This does. Also, there is no. Oh, this always shows up. Interesting. I'll cut you down. I die hard. There's a lot of health. Strong acid. Um, wait, Overkill. how is that possible? Assist? We can hit their weakness. Go for it! Oh, yeah. Crystallize! 
Okay, that beast was tough. Oh, rank five. Oh, we should also pull up. Mark Lock here. Um, items. No, not items. Let's use skills. Because... Weak recovery and they're at full health. Chest. Mining uniform can be purified at the church. What? I mean, I take it. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. Uh. Oh, this is the world. Is it? Yes. Oh, this feels so mean. Fairy dust. Yeah, I will. Um, but, oh, do I love that we can just get... There are a lot of teeth. Uh, that we can just punch through the enemies like that. And get the XP, the loot, and everything. Right there. Charging in. Ah, damn it. Wasn't paying attention. <gasps> there were a lot of them. Oh no. That was a lot of damage. Oh no. Everyone's attack rose. <gasps> No, that. Oh, it's still alive. We have to get through all of them. Yes, nothing. So, how much health is that? Are they weak to ice? Oh, they are... they really are! Wait, but... Is it worth it? I'm gonna try it. Oh, yes! Okay, blizzards? Oh! That is so awesome! That it only takes half a blip. I mean, I really miss the all-out attacks uh, from the Persona games. Oh! So, what was your weakness? Nice. That's so much help. Okay, we have nothing. Increase uh, one allies attack. Here. Yep. I owe you. In the name of justice. Mm. All you know what? Blade ready, lads. We can hit their weakness. Go for Please. it. Do this. Let's oh, it's off. stunned. Is it? Did I understand that correct? Let's it's not telling us though. No. Oh, that's so not enough damage. Feral Crush, damn. 63 damage. Crystallize! Crystallize! Oh, that's so bad, come on. This you can exploit their weakness. That was rough. I feel Level strong. eight. A few left. Keep your eyes open. Damn. Let's dash that somewhere safe. Okay, those are <laughs> just <laughs> beat into a pulp. Scrapman, nice. 
Oh, we can go through here. Right there. Ah! I was oh, just crap. attacking. No! Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everyone's attack rolls. That is terrible. I don't like that. We can hit their weakness. Go for it! Crystallize! Let's Are keep this up. There's okay. much to learn from you. Okay, can do this. Let's finish this. In the name of justice. Uh, you pass. Because that is amazing. Lizard. Please. I'll go for Oh, this is so awesome. This is the best. Hurry, Dust. On solo luck. Perfect. I think we're in the clear. Oh, and there's a chest. God's talisman. A talisman that slightly augments toughness, endurance plus three. <gasps> Let's go. What now? Equipment. Uh, there it is. So after. Should we do it now to heal everyone up? I mean, we have 46 MP. Oh, yeah, this looks like it's about to be boss fight time. How much does healing cost? Four. Stroll can't heal, Grice can't heal. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. See that room over there? The magla feels less dense there compared to the rest of this place. Is it a safe room? Is that so? I don't feel anything. I thought it was just a feeling, but now I can see it. It's like the magla hollows out just for that room. Back in the sanctum, I learned that fairies are natural adepts at sensing magla. It's safe to assume that Gallica has no exception. Maybe we can get some rest in there. Why don't we head inside? That's not a bad idea. We should catch our breath before continuing. I just spent uh, MP for that. Hey. This doesn't seem like an ideal place to rest. I'm just wondering why the Magla is thinner here. I, could, I couldn't tell you much. It's just like a feeling I get. Mm. There is a varying intensity to the Magla that floats through the air. For example, Think of it like steam or smoke. It seems not much could seep into this room. A magla hello, hollow, if you will. Even your igniters won't work as well in here. Hmm. A magla hollow seems as good a term as any. And all the better if Gallica can sense them. You could say that. It's easier to spot a big absence of magla when the area around it is flooded with the stuff. All right. The beasts seem to loathe the approach as well. Let's catch our breath here while we can. Magla Hollows. In dungeons you'll find places called Magla Hollows which can be used as resting points. You can safely speak with your allies, record your travels or visit academia. Yeah, so just like in Persona 5. I love that. Really, really like that. What should you do? Make a record. Ah, <gasps> yes. So we're at the two hour mark, but we're not through with this dungeon. Talk to allies. Still though. This tunnel's just crawling with monsters, isn't it? The Magla is really dense too. I never imagined it would be this dangerous. True. Indeed, there's nothing like what we were told. Grius, are you familiar with this place? I don't know if uh, I don't know of any concrete details, lad, but I can say that these monsters weren't here the last time I passed through. Then... So you're saying that these monsters are the result of this thick magla? Thick. Well, if there's a reason for it, I can only assume it's the work of magla. <sighs> but there's no point in speculating. We must focus on fulfilling the mission. We'll keep moving once we've gotten some rest. What should I do? Uh, go to academia? Yeah, why not? Uh, is that worth 
this place. No matter how many times I come here, this place is still so mysterious. But what I do now, it's not just a dream. Hi! Oh, you're the best. Welcome. Hi, more. Study archetypes, lectures. What would, you care to know? what would you like to know more about? Hmm. Archetypes. Oh, those we already know. Yeah. Uh, studying hmm. archetypes is also. Yes. Advanced archetypes. Each archetype can progress into stronger forms. Spending time with your followers is key to uh, pushing their associate archetype to greater heights. Depending on the understanding between you and your supporters will inevitably strengthen you and your allies. Don't forget that. What would you care to know? Uh, nothing, thanks. This is this. You want to know about cats? Ah, about that cat in particular. Hmm. I'm afraid he's a mystery to me too. Dear as he is. When I awoke in this place, he was already here. But he eases my mind. Petting him helps this place feel less lonely. Indeed. I feel as if I've known him all my life. For whatever reason. Aww. Uh, wait. We have 2,000, uh, 2,000, almost 2,000. Is this a Seeker archetype? Is it's currently channeled, choose a different one to change it. No, but I... Seeker rank 20 and 8,000 Magla needed. Oh, damn. Okay. So we're gonna spend a while as a Seeker. Oh, uh, let's oh. get out of here. Let's go you back to reality. Ahead, won't you? Um, nothing happened, so Let's resume go. exploring. Okay, good to know that there is a peddler. Less water. Okay. Um, we have no MP, basically, but that's not going to stop us. Did something happen here? Magla Hollow. Magla is not uniformly concentrated in the atmosphere, existing more like patches of smoke or fog in the air. Uh, as such, Magla is dense in some areas and extremely thin in others. One could say that the Magla was hollowed out. Such areas provide reprieve from especially dense Magla, as the likelihood of encountering organisms affected or frenzied by Magla is significantly lessened. With the fog, uh, Silent Hill came to my mind, so... This is going to be a boss room, isn't wait it? Wait a second! Wait! Wait! Something feels really wrong further in. It might be what I was sensing. Unfortunately, we've got no choice but to press on, regardless of what Got's lies it. ahead. I'm going to open it. Are you ready? Oh, wait... Uh, we're going in as soon as you're ready. I know, I know. Um, we don't have that much MP. Medicine, fairy dust, 850. Oh. Uh. Cuse burn. Used to enhance certain gear at churches. Increase archetypes experience by 100. Scrap metal, consider selling it, selling it. Veterans uniform. Okay, this is really just um, items. Just want to get rid of these. Uh, Magla pill. At least one. I don't want to go in there with not that much MP. That is a lot of Magla. Magla, Magla. <gasps> it's a human! I can see the glow of a strange crystal and even a stranger monster in front of it. What is that? I've never I've seen, seen anything, anything like, like it. it. Oh. It's a crystal. Of Rome Magla. This feels wrong somehow. Yeah, it does. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. The licket. That's all just superstition though, right? 
don't, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? Probably. The way it's moving, it's almost like it's protecting the crystal. We don't want Here your crystals. <laughs> Homo full. Full kilo. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's try. No, that's a lot of help. Let's seek her. Scour. Oh, resist. Hyper. The front row is being targeted. Oh. I'll attack okay. from here. Go back. Lizard. Oh, oh nice. Go back. As always, Rius. Go for it. Turn. It's okay. Falling back. Go back. Uh, Here. Give him more damage. Because Blade ice attacks. Lads. Quick! You act now. Crystal okay, their weakness. I can't afford to hold nice. back. And Guarding you know what, guard. Move. Bonfire of the vanishes. Oh. Okay. Go. Oh. No, 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 wait, you know what? Because magic isn't affected by it. Oh, but it resists wind. So, this deals still a lot of damage. Let's stay calm. We're looking good. turn because we want to do this. It's not down, Italia. <laughs> Gabot. Oh no. Fuck. Dude! Uh, item. 50? No. Medicine. Let's try this. Thanks. It's okay. We can do this. Uh, I'm counting on you. Because I want to use this as much as possible. Now, what's the play? Warrior! Warrior! I will fight with pride. I won't hold back! Uh, no, I does resist. Time for but... some close combat. Ah, oh, just 21. Attack, 46. <gasps> no! Get up! Attack return to normal. Go. Okay. Uh, revival medicine. This calls for one of these. This is tough. I love it. Still fight to the rear door. Uh, go back. Let's go. Um, we can do this. Heal. I owe you. Hyper. Yep, front row is being targeted. Me. I love Me. this. <laughs> In the name of justice! Okay, attack and defense, but... You first! Yield. Let's take off. Okay, we're already in the back. But... We're gonna... Heal up. Still. No need to Crystallize. I shall so, fight. even though we are in the back, we're still gonna use it. It's half, but doesn't matter. Bonfire of the Vanities. So, everyone suit up. It's nice. Let's go. The music is amazing. Closing the distance. I shall vanquish evil. I shall vanquish evil. It's okay. We can do this. Uh, we don't need to heal up. The next one's yours. Pass. Ah, oh, almost. Oh no. Powerful strike. That was a powerful strike. No holding back. Revenge. That was rough. Love it. 200 XP. 
Uh, archetype XP 100, 600 mag, 1000 money. Love it. What is this crystal? You tell me. By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. That was easy. More questions and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. Huh. Is there something to pick up? Magla crystals that cause madness. I mean, there aren't probably more enemies. We're at the end of the dungeon, if that was the boss. Oh no, we're not. But those are fine. My mind's stinging. This is the strongest I've felt in Martha's presence. Oh, wait. Very impressive. That's all over. We can relax. It's really rough that after a level up, we don't get health and MP. Do you see that? Another boss fight? Or is it Klinger? Oh, something is sleeping. <gasps> Just look at the size of it. Not something I'd hope to ever stumble upon. I'm afraid that's a dragon. A dragon? You mean those creatures from the legends? I've never seen one with my own eyes. Now I understand why the mine was closed. They must duck right into this thing's roost. And I had no choice but to back off. This mine taps a magnificent wane of resources. Only something as terrible as a dragon could have forced them to abandon such a lucrative operation. But Luck is on our side that we've caught it slumbering like this. We can slip past it and continue forward. Almost a shame, there's all sorts of things in this little, well, big nest. I can sense something tinged with Markla too. <laughs> Dragons are ancient and strong Markla follows in their wake, just the way it goes. Any so-called special item you're sensing is bound to have its fill of it. You're making it sound kind of appealing, but we're sure to end up in a fight if we try to take it. Don't make this decision lightly. Got it. On that note, let's push on. Quietly now. I do mean that. We wake that thing, we're in a fight for our lives. We're gonna wake that thing. But there are monsters around here too. Aye, if they see us and cause a ruckus, then we're done for. Keep your distance from them as we make our way let's through. Go. Understood? Let's go. Don't I just understand that we're going to attack it. Uh, what now? So, medicine. Thank you. Um, we're gonna use this Magla potion. 50 to 1 ally. Hello, Mr. Dragon. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Not good on your guard now. It comes for us. I just want to know. The item sounds so lucrative. Peril. Can't see I was expecting you, Doc, to fight. You're either bloody bold or too confident for your own good. <laughs> just so we're clear. Slaying the things beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself killed. Yeah, probably. Fortunately, this one's on the smaller side as dragons go. We might have a chance of driving it off. Listen, keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, stand your ground and shield yourself. Do oh. not waste your lives in a place like this. Now, let's go, lads! Let's go, lads. Let's go back. It's probably ice. I can't afford to hold back. Oh, we're still gonna try. That's a lot of health, by the way. Blades ready, lads. Power of heels. To the so let's go back. No let's more race defense. Scratch. 52. 
54. Um, Let's go. What we're gonna do? Let me help. You have to do Let damage. Help. No need to rush there, my Please. I shall time to go offensive. I shall vanquish evil. We're just gonna do up. Come forth, pull pull out. Out. We can do this. No thanks. We're just gonna be the healer. Fireball. Exist. Nice. Fireball. Weak. Oh, not nice. He's gonna attack again. All of us. That's rough. Me! Crystallize! Now, what's the play? Hack and slash! Okay, come on. It's okay. Uh, heal. Ourselves. Uh, with 26 MP left. That's not a lot. Let's go. Grease has 50 after this attack. I can't afford to hold back. I call upon royal power within. Upon royal power within? But the dragon is already halfway through, so. Tail swipe. So why didn't the tail swipe hit um, Stroll? Because he was on the front. This any means necessary. Are you prepared? Right in the weak spot. That sounds Freedom like we attacked it Seeker. right into the groins. With healing power. That help. Oh no. Please don't do me. Please don't do me. That's oh. Attack return to normal. That's oh! Oh no 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 no. No, holding back. So what we're gonna do now, because it was critical, we are going to use an item. Fairy dust, 50 to all. My thanks. My thanks. No. Me! Oh, maybe we should have used Karafuga or whatever the spell. I shall fight as the noble I am. Uh, you first. It's okay. Yes. We can do this. Seeker! Tarukaja. Here. It costs eight, but it's totally worth it. Tail swipe. Yeah, because Stroll is in the front. Right oh, nice. That was good. So no one's allowed no to, to die this in this fight. Please. Still has I shall 30 the noble MP. I am. Stroll has I call 31. Power within. 26. Than I oh no, Please. oh no. This is the worst. Fireball is the worst. 19. Oh, we're gonna use an item again. Fairy dust again. Try this. Totally worth it. I owe you. The dragon is gonna give us so much and everything else. Oh yes, come on. Come on. Oh yes! Almost Oh Amethyst. Oh yes, so many level ups. Uh endurance leveled up, nice. Uh we're gonna do luck now. I admit, it feels good. Strength? It's only what you make of. That was good. Oh Oh, it's not bad. It's leaving. That was close. Somehow we managed to drive it off. Never thought I'd ever have to fend off a dragon. You lot never cease to amaze me. Well. Perhaps we simply had luck on our side this time. I must admit, however, that my heart sank the moment the dragon woke up. If anyone truly intends to kill the beast, then need to have a gauntlet runner. A gauntlet runner would certainly make our return to Grand Red much easier. 
You may as well wish for the moon. Only the most prominent nobles have the means to secure a runner for themselves. Sorry to interrupt, but look at that! Over there! Isn't that a treasure chest? Oh, and it looks glorious! We already saw it a little bit through the wings and legs of the dragon. Grand iron, glossy fur, onyx, totally worth it. I don't know if that is worth it, I'm just gonna operate on the assumption. Dragon's Indignation, attack 111, a greatsword embodying the fury of a dragon, can be purified at the church. Awesome! Who wields it? Probably Stroll. Uh, no. Yeah. You're going to deal so much damage now. Holy hell. Uh, wait, do we have dragons? An enigmatic and powerful creature re reigning supreme at the top of the ecosystem. King of all monsters. They are known as dragons. With their overpowering strength, they could wipe out an entire fleet of military gauntlet runners as easily as breathing. Best not to get on the bad side. <laughs> Many are believed to possess colossal scaled bodies with membranous wings and raptor-like talons. But due to the lack of personal encounters, the exact details remain unknown. In some areas, they are thought to be mythic creatures of legend and are even revered on occasion as gods. Yeah, I get that. Up. So now we can just pick up everything. Cushy clay. Was there something on the other side? Yeah. Wait, where is it? Oh, down here. Broken ignited. Totally worth it. We used a lot of items, but again. I'm just gonna operate on the assumption that it was absolutely worth it. How long is... Oh, there is the end. Look, isn't that the exit? It is! We can finally get out of here. Looks like we can finally breathe easy. At least for a moment. Uh, the dragon? Could it be? Uh, guys, why are you standing there? A dragon's roar? And you feel that shaking, right? Dude, run! It's getting stronger, what's going on here? It's a wooden bridge! Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a cave-in. If you value your lives, run! That's what I've been saying! Run! <gasps> what did I do? <laughs> I hope this is scripted, even if you're not attacking the dragon. Run! Oh. <laughs> that could have been so bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, we actually made it out. In one piece, no less. Oh, voice acting. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. <laughs> Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to, if we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. True. Lovely. Another carriage ride. <laughs> Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. <laughs> I love how annoyed she is. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Okay, this is the perfect time. Also, the rain beside the 7 degrees Celsius. Ah, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Yeah. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly... I despised them for it. Why? Back then I thought being a noble was about... I don't know... A life of prestige... Being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this... Horrific creature. A human. Though I had no idea at the time. Dude, you were... 
probably 11 when you're 18 now. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I had so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Damn. That must have been hard. That must have been hard. Still, it opened my eyes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. Mm. <sighs> so sad. I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were. Now, I think, what if the army... Well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then... Then I will make him pay. Totally understandable. Also, what are they eating? Is that a tentacle? <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? Uh, what are you getting I at? I think we can tell him. Aye, maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something okay. special about that sword? Is well, it? we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. Oh. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Damn. Of course, when swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. That's cute. Those days were all too short. Then, 12 years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? It right. was a plot of his life. One I wish I'd written out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Oh, do we get a cutscene? Your Highness, this way! Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's how he lost. Oh no, he has an eye patch. Oh, who's that? My lord, are you hurt? Back! A royal knight, a wench, and nothing more. You lazy! Wait, didn't we sh uh, see her already? Wasn't she the one in the beginning? You know nothing of true knighthood. I pledged my life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! Damn, she's badass! Oh! Oh wow, I did not expect that. So much blood. I failed him. Again. Again? Highness! Highness! What is this? What? His Highness survived the attack, but... The curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, 
Not one could wake him, and he grew weaker with each passing day. No. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way. To dispel the curse, its caster must die. But are we sure that this will really help? And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now, and shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his rough. highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. No. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. Yeah. The rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. <laughs> but neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. <laughs> I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. That's so adorable. I like that scene. I'm exhausted. Oh, that's it. I thought there's more to come. Okay, that was amazing. I really, really enjoyed that one. Uh, this time we're not at two hours. Uh, let's just say 220. I don't know how long I was gone because of Gaia, but thank you so much for being with me here uh, I heard that we're still in demo territory, so I don't know how long this is The demo is apparently 10 to 12 hours long. And I was not expecting that um, I just got spoiled with the knowledge that the demo ends with the one large dungeon or in the middle of the large dungeon. I don't know. I didn't understand what they meant. But yeah, amazing game. I love it to bits. I hope this time the sound issues have been a little bit resolved. Um, otherwise, I have to think of something else, how I will uh, ramp it up a little bit. But yeah, then again, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much. Please remember to do all the platform-specific things, all the things that make the dings. So thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And yeah, have a great day, stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you the next time. Bye, 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 bye.